Wild cards in Stable Diffusion are like collections of ideas stored in text files. These ideas can cover a wide range of things, such as body shapes, clothing styles, backgrounds, or anything you like. Yeah, anything. When you use a wild card in your prompt, it randomly selects one of these ideas from a specific text file, adding an element of surprise and variety to your prompt, making each image output unique and interesting. Let's dive in and unlock the creative potential of wild cards in Stable Diffusion. Before creating our first wildcard and seeing it in action, we need to ensure the wildcards extension is installed. Open your Stable Diffusion web UI and head to the Extensions tab. Click on the Available sub-tab and then click the Load From button. This will display all available extensions. Search for Wildcards in the search bar and install the Wildcards extension. Once installed, navigate to the Installed tab and select Apply and Restart UI. After the web UI has restarted, let's confirm the proper installation of our extension. Check if a new folder named Stable Diffusion Web UI Wildcards has been created within the Stable Diffusion Extensions folder. The existence of this folder confirms the successful installation. Next, let's begin by creating our very first wildcard. Open a basic text file using Notepad, which you can access by searching for Notepad in the Windows search bar. This will provide us with a blank text file where we can create our wildcard. Remember, a wildcard is essentially a list or collection of ideas that can be randomized within the prompt at a later time. Now, let's decide what we want to create a wildcard for. It could be a collection of clothing styles, hairstyles, body shapes, backgrounds, or anything else you can think of. For this example, let's create a collection of sundresses. Ask ChatGPT to provide a list of sundresses and paste them into your newly created text file. Ensure that each idea is on a separate line. Once we've completed filling in our text file, it's time to save it with a suitable name. Let's name it Sundress for this instance. It's crucial to select an easy to remember and relevant name that reflects the content of the file, since we'll be referencing this name within the prompt later on. When saving the file, ensure to store it inside the correct wildcards folder within the newly downloaded wildcards extension. Now that we have successfully created our wildcard and placed it in the correct folder, we can proceed to the Stable Diffusion web UI and integrate the newly created wildcard into our workflow. To randomly select a line from our sundress file, we need to use the following syntax inside our prompt section. The name of the text file, in our case, sundress, and enclose it in double underscores within the prompt. This syntax allows Stable Diffusion to grab a random entry from the file named sundress.txt in the wildcards directory. Before clicking Generate, let's further refine the prompt and adjust some basic settings. This will result in a more varied prompt beyond just the sundress. Our aim is to generate an upper body portrait of a Latina woman wearing a sundress, positioned against a nature background. After adjusting the positive prompt, let's make sure to create a negative prompt and select the appropriate settings. Once we've chosen a checkpoint and selected the correct sampling method, as well as set the desired dimensions for our output image, we'll increase the batch size to observe the dynamic prompts in action. This allows us to witness how each output differs from the previous one, showcasing the dynamic nature of the prompts. Now let's hit Generate and see how Stable Diffusion can create diverse outputs featuring different sundresses. Now, look at the results. It's amazing how the wildcards create such dynamic and diverse prompt variations. Let's hear what our model, Elena, who is showcasing these dresses, has to say about these variations. Wow, the wildcards feature is truly impressive. They are pure magic, turning simple ideas into a stunning array of beautiful possibilities. If you love these dresses as much as I do, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you and much love from me, Elena.